Cortisol follows a natural rhythm peaking in the morning to get you energized, and it tapers off at night to allow melatonin to take over for a more restful sleep. But here's the issue. Chronic stress, as we know, can disrupt this rhythm. So if cortisol stays elevated at night, you might feel tired but wired, unable to sleep deeply. If you're feeling cortisol is too low, you might feel sluggish or crave salt or even sugar. Hi, my name is Dr. Aria Mismer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor, physical therapy, registered dietitian, and owner of the Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center. And mastering cortisol and adrenal health is so vital to your overall well-being. So what are some symptoms of high cortisol? This could be anxiety, weight gain, especially visceral fat around the midsection, sugar cravings, frequent illness, Conversely, we can have symptoms of low cortisol. So this can be extreme fatigue, low blood pressure, salt cravings, chronic inflammation, mood swings. So some of this I'm sure sounds familiar to you. If it's not you, you may know somebody else who has experienced. So let's get started with some solutions. So let's start with your morning. These tips will help you to regulate cortisol. So first, delay coffee 60 to 90 minutes after waking. So caffeine immediately after waking can interfere with your natural cortisol awakening response. Get morning sunlight 10 to 20 minutes within 30 minutes of waking. This helps to regulate your circadian rhythm. And on cloudy days, please try a sad light. So this can be really great using at least 10,000 lux and avoid using your phone first thing in the morning. Instead, journal, walk, practice practice mindfulness, try to avoid that dopamine hit. Eat a protein-packed breakfast with tryptophan-rich foods like eggs and nuts within an hour of waking. This stabilizes your blood sugar. It supports that calm energy. So now let's talk about your evening routine. So optimizing sleep for recovery. So to heal and reset your cortisol rhythm, quality sleep is essential. First, create a sleep sanctuary. Stick to a calming routine, avoiding blue light one to two hours before bed, keeping your room dark and cool. Focus on some type of down regulation technique. So like breathing, try nasal strips or dilators that can enhance airflow, ensure restorative to sleep. If you suspect that you have a sleep issue, so perhaps you're waking up two, three, four o'clock in the morning, you're waking up in the morning and you're exhausted, you're super tired at three o'clock in the afternoon, these may be signs that you should get your sleep evaluated. So you can ask your primary care physician for a sleep study. And this can be very helpful in understanding why your cortisol is so dysregulated. So let's talk about balanced nutrition for adrenal support. So what you eat plays a major role in adrenal health. And here's what I typically recommend. So one is eating a phyto-rich nutrient. So include cruciferous vegetables like broccoli. This can really support healthy detoxification. Stabilize your blood sugar by pairing a protein, a fat, and a fiber in every single meal. Prioritizing protein. So at least 30 grams, upwards of 40 grams, or you can consider one gram per pound of ideal body weight. Incorporate healthy fats like omegas from salmon, walnuts for hormone production. Replenishing electrolytes is one of the most basic things we can do immediately, adding magnesium, potassium-rich foods like spinach and sea salt to combat fatigue. And we can also consider adaptogens. So herbs like ashwagandha, rhodiola, they can also help to regulate cortisol. We want to maintain a zinc copper balance, so including foods like oysters, liver, dark chocolate, that might be an easier one, foods magnesium and B12, so leafy greens, pumpkin seeds, nutritional yeast for better relaxation and improved energy. And lastly, we want to focus on managing stress. Of course, the most obvious. Here are some of the go-to techniques. Shift your relationship with fear. So reframe mistakes as opportunities for growth. Vegas Nerve Stimulation, please check out my entire channel from humming to cold exposure to breathing, all different techniques that you can do to regulate your nervous system. Somatic practices like yoga, tai chi, mindful walking to calm the nervous system. Balanced exercise, so moderate resistance training, walking, aerobic exercise, all can support healthy cortisol regulation without overtaxing your nervous system. And that's one of the things that is most important as it relates to exercise is supporting your exercise with fuel, as we've already mentioned. So you can do more if you're supporting it with food. If you don't support it with food, then unfortunately it's going to cause more stress on the system. If you're doing all high intensity training, please reevaluate your program and look to see where you can add some lower intensity activity into it. 
So by integrating these strategies into your daily routine, you can restore your natural cortisol rhythm, boost your energy, build a long-term resilience. Remember that healing takes time, but small changes like this can lead to a huge transformation. So if you found this helpful, please give it a like, give it a share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for whole body wellness through integrative and root cause medicine. Thank you so much as always for being here. I love your comments, so I'm excited to hear how you regulate your cortisol.